I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it's safe to say that immigration is kind of a tender issue for some in this country. I mean, I'm guessing here, but I think a six-hour public discrimination hearing about two English-only signs hung at a private business might indicate feelings on both sides of the issue are, shall we say, inflamed. Joey Vento, business owner who started this particular fire. Joey, the signs at uh, Gino's Steaks, which, by the way, if you ever go to Philadelphia, do not have another cheesesteak anyplace but Gino's. It is the best. Um, your sign says, this is America, when ordering, please speak English. Did you and your jack booted thugs ever just drag people out because they tried to order in another language? <laughs> Glenn, first, it's an honor to be on your show. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, uh, they dropped the discrimination suit because they knew and they found out Joey Vento never discriminated against anybody for a language problem. So they dropped that suit. The, the, uh, the suit now says it's just an offensive sign. And the sign is offensive to non-speaking English people. Well, if you don't speak English, you can't read the sign, so how's that offensive? May I ask a question, Joey? Uh, I mean, you're a lifetime Philadelphian, are you not? Yes. Yeah, so you've seen some crazy things in your city. Yes. Yeah. The Philadelphia Commission on Human Relations. Does Philadelphia not have something better to spend their money on? Well, you would seem to think so. They brought a big firm in and, you know, they were very expensive. And so the taxpayers are going to be picking up the tab on this. And I don't know if the people are aware of that. Yeah. I mean, we can't hire policemen and we're closing fire stations down because we don't have the funds for them. But they go after Joey Vento for this offensive sign that we're in a country where primary English language is spoken. And it's English. I mean, we're just trying to tell people, speak English. So you, you actually, you have also a problem with hyphen Americans. I mean, you're a, you're not, you say you're not an Italian American. What are you? I am an American of Italian descent. God bless you, sir. Yes. Why do you say it that way? Because I'm born here and I'm an American first. I took that from Theodore Roosevelt, 1907. This is where this all comes from, on being an American. And uh, I don't understand. You don't want to assimilate into this country and learn our language. Well, then you shouldn't have came here then. Yeah. Stay where you was. But, but if you come here, you know, our immigrant uh, grandparents came here. They always throw that up to my face. Joey, how would you feel if your gr grandparents were treated that way? Well, let me tell you how my grandparents were treated. When they went to a store, you know, they were uh, told, hey, Guinea, Wop, Degga, you go home until you can speak English. Here, Regina, nobody's getting refused service. We just ask you politely to speak English. If you can't speak it, you're going to get a product. It's just that if you say something in a language we're not familiar with, you might get a product you just didn't order. If uh, Philadelphia rules against you and says this is some sort of, you know, hate speech or whatever they're going to come up with, uh, are you going to fight it? Oh, definitely, because I know they're going to roll against me. No, because they're, Philadelphia, they're, it's the land of common sense. Yeah. I mean, did we, you get that necklace in Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah, my, that's my lovely <laughs> wife's idea, Eileen. She takes care of me, all the bling, you know. I, I got to contribute everything to her. She's my have some success. Bling. She's the man. I need she's more. the woman behind the man. You got it. Joey, thanks a lot. Thank and you, We'll see man. you next time we're in Philadelphia.